Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory, and respect due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachar Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutations to the hopeful elect pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. I'm the brother Yasharala with Great Millstone Chicago, and I'm going to do a quick uh, scripture of the day. Lord willing, it's edifying. All right, so we're going to jump straight into it. All right, I got Hebrews 4 and 12, and it reads, For the word of Yahweh power is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a, is a discerner of the thoughts and and intents of the heart <clears throat> all right so the this the word the holy bible the scriptures all right a it's it's sharper than any two-edged sword all right it's um it's a spiritual weapon all right because esau the so-called white man he has his his blessing which is the sword a, a, a physical a carnal weapon all right and um the israelites hey we've been given the word we've been given this uh the bible psalms 147 and 19 he show his word unto jacob all right etc hey we have we have a weapon as well but it's it's um spiritual okay we're not going to be bearing arms like isupk and all these other uh, alphabet groups who uh, bring guns to camp. No, we're, we're not going to um, stand up and try to fight against Esau physically. No, because we will lose that way. But the way we are going to win is by um, preaching this word. All right? And you can see when the truth comes out, you know, it gets people upset. People start to bug out, etc. All right, because what does it say? It, it's um, it's sharp, it's powerful, it's quick, and sharper than any two-edged sword. All right, piercing even to the dividing the sunder of soul and spirit. A the the words in the scriptures will cut through your spirit. You know, if you're if you're um, going off, you know, if you're wicked, you do things contrary to the scriptures. A when they, when when the, um, the scriptures come to light. You know, and, and it goes against um, people's every day to day and their lust, etc. Hey, that cu that cuts them through the spirit and through their soul. All right. Hey, Esau hearing that he's going into captivity, that cuts his soul. That cuts his spirit, you know. Telling the two-thirds you can't commit adultery or, or the Heavenly Father is going to kill you. You know, that cuts through their soul, cuts through their spirit. Okay. And, and all we're doing is reading the words of the Heavenly Father, His words, okay? It says, it says, and, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. So, A, these scriptures could see right through somebody. You know, they could see um, um, what kind of person they are based off of how they live and based off of what the scriptures say, how we ought to live. All right, hey, these scriptures will um will show people who they really are, okay? And we all been cut by this word, one way or another. All right, whether it's you waking up to who you are, you know, us um, being lied to all our lives, the, the real image of the uh, God and His Son, the real names, or just our um, everyday day to day. Um, that we were doing in the world and and when the light through the through the scriptures the light came to us like oh snap I can't I can't do that I can't do this 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 pleases God this he doesn't like that he doesn't you know and you we we get cut but you know we um we do better you know we attempt to to live righteous and better than what we were before you know so hey this is a uh, you know, we, we everybody gets cut from the word, okay? Because <clears throat> a, it's a it's a spiritual weapon, and it's ultimately going to take down Esau's kingdom. 
All right, like it says in uh, 2 Thessalonians, uh, the second chapter, I believe, it says, um, um, through the spirit of his mouth, you know, we're going to uh, take down Esau, Edom. All right, hey, so with that, Lord willing, this was edifying. Till next time, Shalom.